Hey guys, so today I'll be explaining as to why KJ was delayed and when you should expect it to release, along with some good news at the end, along with a free early access Game Pass giveaway. But firstly, let's start off the video. Basically, I am sure you all know by now about the entire KJ drama that's been going on the past few days or even weeks about how the owner Santino had scammed everyone out of KJ, but I'll be talking to give you the full perspective and clarity on what really happened. Basically, to start it off, when the Innovation Awards came out, the owner had promised us that they would work on the game even faster, releasing Boros and finishing Swiru along with a free KJ playtest for a set amount of time, and that for each category we won, the KJ playtest would be longer. And to cut it short, we won both by a long shot, and afterwards the owner would be silent for a few days, with others saying he was sleeping. Which when he finally woke up, he'd say that he was finalizing some stuff before he wanted to release it. However, he would then delay it for another day before making an announcement about how he was happy for winning the innovation rewards. And would say in this that in the People's Choice category, it was still unfinished and was awaiting confirmation, thus making his hands tied. As we said before, he wanted to confirm how many rewards we won to give the appropriate amount of KJ playtime. However, this sparked a lot of backlash on the owner since a lot of people believed they were scammed completely. However, it was completely out of the owner's hand due to the fact Roblox apparently flagged them for rigging the award somehow, and that promising KJ was against the rules due to the fact it was an admin-only character. Now, I cannot confirm the transparency of this story, but it is safe to assume it's true since I doubt Santino would be that petty over KJ being released. However, to add on to this, KJ being delayed is somewhat of a good thing as well, as we know KJ only has three base moves and three awakening moves, and just recently they finished his wall combo, Santino might want to fully finish KJ before adding him to give us a fully immersive experience. With all of this said, let's move on to the next part of the video being when KJ is expected to release, I cannot give a definitive answer since the owner cannot confirm it, either since Roblox is highly incorporative with situations like these. However, it's best to assume one or two months till KJ is released. Take what I say with a grain of salt, though, since this isn't remotely true or factual. But to get frequent updates, join the Yielding Arts official Discord server and frequently check announcements and sub-announcements for updates as Santino regularly will post them there. However, this might come as bad news to everyone excited to try out KJ and dropkick everyone, but worry not, as this is only one of the many things Yielding Arts has promised us, the other being they'll work way faster and will release Boros faster, which is amazing news considering Tatsumaki took well over five months to make, and we're already one month in with Suiryu and already done with him almost. That's not all, either. There's more Santino has promised us, fortunately, that we don't know yet. But expect great things, hopefully. That's all for this video. Be sure to join my Discord to win free game passes such as Early Access, VIP, etc. And for future updates on videos and whatnot, leave any opinions or comments about this situation in the comment section below. That'll be all. Thanks for watching.